She's got a pretty face, that one, doesn't she? <laughs> Five minutes ago, I was asleep in my beautiful warm bed. Just read that number there for me. What does that say? 118. 118 kilometres. Yep. And you're also late when we get to Brisbane. All relationships have sticking points. Things you don't like talking about because it raises pressure and stress. Today's going to be one of those days. Happy memories. Happy memories, happy memories, sticking point. We've owned this house for almost 20 years. Today's the day we decide what we're gonna do with the bloody thing. The manager's cranky. So it's now 10.35, we have to get to Brisbane to pick up the key for this house from the agents before they shut at midday. We're up against it. Hey. Bloody accident on the M1. Oh, it says 54 minutes. We're gonna be late. So, you could have thought about this when you're on your ride today. It says we're going to be there at 14 minutes past. Is that going to be okay with you? Oh yeah, I'll leave it across the road with the girl. Okay, thank you very much Amy. Have a nice weekend. The tenants in the house have broken the lease. They kept complaining about things like the kitchen falling apart, the fence falling over at the back. And they just pissed off. about to go in there and go DEFCON 4 because they gave me a takeaway cup, but ceramic. We're going to go and see Redcliffe's number one tourist attraction. So this has been uh, BG's Way, which has been created recently by the council to honour the, the Gibb brothers from the Bee Gees, and uh, it's great. A couple of other famous exports from Redcliffe include actor William McInnes. I think I mentioned something about having a casual involvement. Swimmer, Liesl Jones. And maybe the greatest breaststroker ever wins the Olympic gold medal. And my favourite footballer, Petro Sivanasiva. Okay, before we go in, we've got to talk about our four options. First option Sell. is first option is to rent it out as is. Second option is to spend money renovating it and then renting it out again. Third option is to sell it as is where is. Fourth option is to renovate and sell. Which one do you want to do? Sell. And I just want to rent it out again with, and do nothing because it's cheap. Alright, let's have a look at it. Alright, let's have a look. Hey. What would you do in the kitchen? Well, that's all going to come out. Hey. 
manager and I bought this shithole, it's this house in 1990, long time ago. Always rented, never had a problem getting tenants for it because it's low set and close to the water, but it looks pretty old and tired. Any of your thoughts? What do we do with it? So some people might be confused about where Redcliffe is. So, this is Brisbane. This is the Redcliffe Peninsula. This is the suburb of Scarborough. And here's where our house is just here. Puppy time. Can I pick up for it, right? Yeah, go for it. Oh, you'll put on a bit she's of weight. A, she's a chunker. Which is your favourite dogs? Um, I like Freckle and I like Panda Bear. Oh, so yeah. This is Safi. She had five puppies four weeks ago. All of them females. And they're gorgeous. I think they've all found homes too. What are we doing? Picking up some Suns tickets and some ironing in the office. Okay, these were our four options when we started this morning. I wanted to just rent it out because I'm a tight ass, and you wanted to, what do you want to do? Renovate and sell. Reno and sell. So what are we doing? We decided that we weren't just going to sell it straight up because that wouldn't be smart because we needed to spend a little bit of money to make money, but we've decided we're not going to sell. And then we decided that the smartest thing to do would be to renovate and then... So this sorry. is really long and okay. really boring. Then we decided we were going to renovate... I'll Just, leave you No, no, sit there. We'll finish it. We decided that the smart thing to do would be to renovate and sell, which is what you wanted to do. Yeah. But then you got an email. Yeah. And what did the email say? I don't know what did it say. For fuck's sake. The email said... It said... They've got tenants who want to rent. So we're just going to rent it out again? Yeah. So we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're going to do that, which is what I wanted to do. So I win. Okay. Fuck, it's hard sometimes. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Usual stuff. If you like them and you want us to keep doing it, please push subscribe, like, and what's the other one? Comment. Comment. Bye. Bye. See ya. Ciao. Mm.